Hi guys, Stuart O'Neill here, uh, Will Castle Dark Raven. So I done a short video yesterday on a feature wall, uh, on preparing a wall, uh, getting it filled, sanded, sized, and cross-lined, and then um, today I'm putting on a Lord IC wallpaper as a feature wall. So if you look behind me here, you can see uh, the color on the, the wall here. So this color is, it's a foreign ball color. Uh, it's called Militant Pink. It's a very subtle pink and uh, a matte finish, obviously. Uh, ceiling cornice white. And the woodwork door frame skirting board sill and radiator is all done in a white satin. So it's all done. So I'm near finish this room basically I have three strips of Laura Icy wallpaper up here as you can see. Um, lovely wee paper and um, it's a piece of wallpaper and believe it or not it's the first Laura Icy wallpaper that I hung that is actually pieced of wallpaper. And thank goodness I looked at the instructions, as I always do. Um, any, if you are going to hang any sort of wallpaper, always read the instructions. It tells you what the match is, it tells you what adhesive to use, it tells you soaking time, it tells you if it's paste the wall or paste the back of the paper. So there you go there, there's the, the wee label there and it's a, say, it's a paste the wall paper. You know, um, so and I'll check a batch number two. You know, um, so I've got three rolls for this. I say I have three strips up, and um, this is what you call a offset match. And the only way I can explain that to you is, it's not a straight through match, where basically every strip's the same. This match here, the way I can explain it is, your first sheet. Is the same as your third sheet. This second one will be the same as the fourth one that I put up here. And of course, very important, uh, you know, this first sheet, whenever you're hanging it, um, you know, it's very, very important to strike a line down with a spurt level or use a plumb line and make sure your first sheet is perfectly straight so that the rest fall in perfect. Uh, they're 21 inches in width. Measure 20 inches to where you want to straight your line down and lay a half an inch to trim in the corner here. Put your first sheet on, make sure it's perfectly straight and the other sheets will fall in perfect for you. So I've got three sheets up. Secondly, um, clean bucket of hot water. Very, very important to have hot water. Uh, these wee matte finals. Um, again, if you get a wee slight paste mark on the surface and it's not wiped off, if it dries, especially if the light shines on it, you know, you can, it highlights the paste stains. So, uh, really, really important. And clean water, you know, one bucket of water doesn't do a whole room, you know. I would change my, uh, my water uh, for every roll, you know. Um, so I'm doing, uh, there's three rolls in this wall, I would probably use three buckets of water, hot, clean water. And I wash every strip down as I put it, put it on. Um, so as I say, this is paste the wallpaper. Uh, just a rough line here uh, of where the edge is going to go. So as you can see, there's one there. Just turn it around here to the corner. You've one there and another line in there. Okay. So this is just a gay line where, where you're going to paste to. Okay. So and how you how you apply the paste? So I say these walls are cross lined. How you apply the paste is basically just as if you're emulsioning. Uh, apply it, drop a paste along the top of the ceiling, along a, above the skirting board, and then roll it. Two screws in this wall here, there's a mirror going back up, so they're, they're left in. And uh, we drop a paste around those and just roll it. So I'll do that there. I have four strips on the table, measured out, ready to go on. Uh, so I'll apply two sheets for you and give you an idea how to do this. 
Uh, nor I see wallpaper, the other thing I will say, one strip at a time. These paper hangers, you know, the, the you know, the hang, uh, it's all about speed and the pace, four sheets, five sheets at once. And, you know, by the time you get to the fourth sheet, uh, the, the, the paper's really soaked. It can stretch, it can tear, especially these thin wallpapers here. They're lovely papers, matte vinyl, but they have to be hung one strip at a time. And uh, I measure them all on the table, but I don't paste them all together. You know. Med faces, one strip. You know, if it's a textured fennel, maybe you could do two strips, you know, at the very most. So, a four here, I'm going to hang two for you. It should be hard to go about doing it. So, first thing to do is cut in the thing where my paste, and it's just over the The only thing is, this paste here, it's a... Again, I'll just show you, it says in the instructions, always follow the instructions with adhesive to use. And in this one here, basically, it is, um, they're advising to use an all-purpose Laura Isley wallpaper paste, you know, a water soluble, soluble starch adhesive or something similar. I'm using uh, sulfide. Okay, it's not already mixed, so I always go by the manufacturer's instructions. So... Basically, we're up here, and uh, this is on the top here. Just go past the name that you've marked when your paper's actually going. You have two of these screws here, just sit around that little piece, put plenty on. And as I say, you know, don't be, uh, don't be shy when putting the paste on, you know. Especially with the edges, you know. Again, I don't mind going onto this paper a wee tiny bit because I will be washing it down. Just want to make sure there's a uh, plenty of paste on the edge. There we go. And then just put it down, you know. Just, I'll just follow that wee line down there, down to the bottom. So just bring your paste down onto the edge there. Like so. And then just along the top of your skirting board there. Just get my roller. We have a roller and as I say, a nice even coat of paste onto your wall. Just even that out, make sure it's not too, there's no big thick gloves there, you know, just a nice even coat. But as I say, make sure you put plenty on. And also what I will say is, you know, uh, you know, Laura and I say highly recommend the cross line walls. I always cross line walls anyway, you know, 99% of papers I hang, you know, it better job all around. You have a nice smooth finish on your finished paper. Less chance of uh, any shrinkage happening because you're over another paper. Uh, and as I said, it's very important with these smooth matte finals to 
have this finish here that you have, a nice smooth finish, you know. So, a uh, couple of things that you need. Straight edge for trimming, a smoother for smoothing out the, the paper, a uh, Stanley knife, and scissors. And I'll say, very important, bucket of clean hot water. So we'll get the sponge. Okay. I'll get my fourth strip here. Just bring the steps back, like so. Just want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. So, uh, obviously there's a match in this here. So what you do is just get your match lined up and smoothen it out. Don't rush, take your time, just get it set in, in place. Get your match right and then bring it down. here okay uh, just get your east on knife and uh, feel the head of the screw and just trim a bit just a wee trim in place as well. Uh, there's one and just feel it, there's the other one over there. Just feel it, see, feel a wee head of the screw there and just give it a wee trim. Like so. No problem at all. And just scale, just make sure it's all matched before you bring it down. See how we match this one off a wee bit there, just push her up like so. Just use your hand, you know, to uh, get it sorted. There we go. Sponger, give it a wee wipe. Just wipe off all your excess face, which is very important. Give me a spatula. Make sure everything's all the balls are all smooth over. sponge here and as I say you know I, I always you know make this clear use clean water and wash everything down okay and just trim it here okay and the other thing to make sure is these we snap all the blades you know uh, snap them regular Make sure they're very sharp when you're trimming. There we go.
check our match, make sure it's all matching up okay. Just bring that down to the bottom of our shoe. Okay. And I just have the customer walking in here, checking up on me. Do you want to come and say hello, Mary? No, thank you. Are you sure? I'm positive. Mary always comes in and makes sure I'm doing a good job. She always gives me a hard time, you know. She's not that bad, she's here, not Mary? No. There we go. So this is the fourth strip up. So, very important. Mice it all down. You know. As you can see, make sure all the joints are tight, smart and perfect. And then give her a wee trim. Now right there? That's right. There we go. And like I say, make sure when I saw the excess paste off, like so. What do you think happened here? Stunning. You happy with it? It's beautiful. Good. There we go. Nah. Four down, three to go. So, there's four, four strips up. And as you can see, goes well with the ceiling, the wall colour, uh, nice colours in the background of the paper. So, if you have any questions about preparation, cross laning, how to go about hanging or actually, by all means send me a message. Thanks very much. Bye.